we can have the best of both the worlds we can also chill and relax and enjoy our internship and then next 4 or 5 months we can go full throttle as you are, to just borrow your words double down on the preparation and still come up with such a great rank but akshit may i have a question i mean this strategy might work for people who have got a strong foundation okay right see i'm presuming you are from aims delhi of course the most premier institutions and there's a selection bias i mean somebody who's really good could enter aims delhi of course of course uh, do you think that the same strategy can work for somebody for an average medical student who may or may not have that stronger foundation sir i uh, i feel that whenever i have been asked this question ki tum kitne ghante padhte ho ya ye wo so my answer to that has always been a bit uh, confounding for the profounding whatever for the other person ki 6 ghante padh ke kaise ho jata hai 8 ghante padh but what is really important to me is that i don't plot that i can study in less time it's more what's mm-hmm. more important is that i look at my results and if i'm happy with them i continue what i'm doing and if i'm not happy with that i increase whatever time i have to put in whatever work i have to put in and this strategy i don't feel it's just for exams even mm-hmm. let's say i am people might say ki okay i am a bit smart iq wise mm-hmm. but when it comes to other things let's say fitness so i'm not a genetically blessed person there mm-hmm. so when i know i have a particular fitness goal and i'm not reaching there or i'm not on the right path i'm going to double down on it i'm going to spend more time in the gym i'm going to spend more will power on my diet or whatever planning i need to do similarly i feel ki it's pretty much an excuse if i can say i have 5 6 hours to study if i was not able to get the gt marks in those 6 hours i would definitely study for it and what really matters is are you progressing according to your own results or not 